So it's been about six months since I've posted something about flight attending on this channel. I haven't really been active on my channel for a long time. I posted something about two weeks ago, but even then, like that video was completely different from what I used to post. I literally went like off the road with that video and I kind of just, it, it was weird. That video was kind of like, I was trying to be artistic in a way. I was trying to just switch it up, change it up from what I usually do, which is just kind of talk to the camera. And I was trying to do something different. I don't know how to feel about it, but nevertheless, it's been a long time since I've just really made a video. But till this day, I still get a lot of comments on my old videos. And a lot of the times, or recently, it's been a lot of hate comments on what I did or what I didn't do, whether I was lazy or not lazy, whether I made the right choice to like leave flat attendant or whether it was a bad idea. I, it's, it goes down the list and I find it kind of crazy how those videos are, I mean, they're not that old, but they're pretty old, yet the algorithm, I guess, is still pushing it. People are still interacting with it. Uh, the reason why I didn't post in such a long time was because I wanted those videos to kind of like die down and kind of have like my channel just so I could come back and just change it up, go a different direction with the channel. But it seems like those videos are still quite active. <laughs> Every time I look at my analytics, um, those videos are still getting a handful of views. I don't want to take them down or anything because they're still a part of me. And I kind of wanted to go through some comments that kind of caught my eye. There's this one comment that really, really caught my attention, but it says, you sound lazy. Cut it close on your job interview with travel. Late to work once you get it. I guess you need to vibe with something easier. Good luck. They also said, don't let your friends gas you up. You have 3.6 followers and don't post often. Hard to live off $40 a month on ad revenue. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like these people are just coming at me like full force. When you post something online and you make it public, hey, you're kind of opening yourself to that. I don't really mind comments like this. It doesn't really like affect me because I know like it doesn't really matter right but i kind of just wanted to say that if you're someone out there looking to switch things up or if you're looking to do something different this year in 2024 you're trying to you know go in this direction but you don't know whether to leave this behind to go somewhere else but you have this like feeling deep inside that you like you just must do it just do it you sometimes you got to just make decisions uh based on the like that gut feeling no one's gonna understand why you're doing it, it your friends aren't really gonna get it your parents aren't gonna get it. Your coworkers aren't gonna get it. The public is not gonna get it, but it's okay. Like, just go for it. And eventually it'll all make sense, I feel like. I recently watched a video about Van Gogh, how Van Gogh was an individual that really just lost themselves in his own art. And people didn't understand him, right? People didn't understand his vision. People didn't understand what he was doing. And he died a pretty broke man. It wasn't until like years later where finally people understood his art. People kind of saw what he was really doing during that time. But like he's a great example at the fact that like people just won't understand. If you might have a vision, you might kind of see things differently, have a different perspective. And you might be trying to have people understand what you are doing. But a lot of the times they really just won't get it. There's also this other comment too. This was made three weeks ago. So these comments are pretty fresh. You are not ready. Everything you spoke of, especially the loneliness and the separation are something most people do research on ahead of time. There are a lot of factors to consider before all that interviewing and weeks of training. That's very true. There was a lot of factors. And I feel like when you first start, you understand, like you look at those factors and you're like, hey, maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe I might be able to pull up, uh, put up with it, especially the loneliness and the separation, the never being at home. Uh, at the time, I was like, you know what? I could do it. Like, I don't want to be home. Um, I don't care to just disappear. And I feel like a lot of the times that's how it starts. You kind of like, you need to live it to really understand what it feels like. And I just, I just kind of threw myself at it, which is good. You, you should throw yourself at it too. Um, but um, once I really understood what it is to be like alone and separated, I started to like realize that that wasn't what I wanted. I have another comment. Uh, this one's like four months old, which is kind of older, but they said something about uh, most careers take time to adjust and it's hard to first, it's hard at first until you eventually get settled and reap the full benefits. Listen to how this guy was fired from a job with medical, dental, 401k and the chance to see the world. 
just speaks to the lack of work ethic and values for today's generation. Anything that doesn't result in instant gratification is considered inconvenient and hardship. Anyways, good luck as a YouTuber. <laughs> a lot of the times, like comments like that, are, like it really puts into perspective how like I kind of made a big, big decision to like leave all of that behind. And it's funny how he mentions that today's generation doesn't really want to work or anything like that. It's not that they don't want to work. I feel like we just don't want to enslave ourselves to this like one career only for the purpose of getting like medical, dental, and the 401k. The way I saw it was that I was going to be, because this is what I saw. I saw 50 year olds, 60 year olds, 70 year olds still working on that plane, right? And I don't want to be like a 50 year old, 40 year old, still like putting in so many hours just so that I could like make a living, right? And this is the last comment that I'm going to review. It said, uh, too many excuses and no accountability. Flight attending is the easiest job. You just literally do your job and it's a breeze. If you're like this guy who forgets and blames everything except himself, don't even try. He said he's broke and doesn't have a career, but literally had a career and then come on top of that, the opportunity to create content for his YouTube while traveling. I won't lie to you. That makes a lot of sense. And it's true. It's the easiest job you could ever have. You could you could ever have. And I'll take accountability. You know, like it was it was my fault. I do want to clear it up that I, I feel like I pursued the job in search of creating content behind it. And I feel like that was the worst way to go on about it because then I I was making my life decisions around just content creating, right? Like I got the job so I could make videos. And then from getting my first flight attending job. I wanted to go to United just so I could make better videos. So I started making decisions based on like, what would be the best content that I could get out of like those certain things. So after I realized that I was like, yo, like I'm just digging myself into a hole where like, I'm gonna get to a point in time where I'm gonna look back and see like, damn, I literally just made all these decisions based on just creating content behind all of it. Like that was scary. Like I didn't become a flight attendant because I, I wanted it to be a flight attendant and because it was like my dream or because I like planes or because I like flying or because I like handling p people's luggages and stuff. You know, like I didn't do it like that. I did it just with the intention of creating content behind it. It just, it wasn't healthy at all. It wasn't like the right choice to be doing. Like life isn't all about content. I was literally just making my life based on like the content, so. Anyways, besides all the hate comments, there's a lot of positive comments too. Like a lot of people supported my decision. A lot of people, you know, wished me luck. I feel like the positive outweighed a lot more of the negative stuff. So thank you to all the people that commented and that were so supportive about like my decision. And yeah, to the people that have stuck around and are still sticking around to the channel, you know, I appreciate all of you guys. I'll be making different content now and I'm definitely gonna, you know, change, make a hard pivot and change directions and i would love you guys to stick around and watch the, the stuff that i put out if you guys aren't interested in all that stuff then i appreciate everyone who is parting ways with me now thanks for just being a, um you know tagging along the ride and tagging along that era of my life i'm the type of individual that's just constantly changing and growing and trying different things and i feel like i want to express that through my channel and I'm going to just keep on doing it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tagging along. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Appreciate it.